No Doubt is back and headlining one of the biggest tours of the summer. And as excited as their fans are, the band opening up for them may be even more excited. We all really respect them, and so we found out that they were interested in touring with us. We freaked. Yeah. For Paramore, it's an opportunity to hit the road with a band they grew up listening to. I really love their early stuff a lot, like even Beacon Street Collection, I think is really cool. You know what I like about them is every part stands up on its own, you know, like from bass lines to drum parts and guitar lines and like obviously her vocals, background vocals, I mean, they're, they're very detailed and I think that's really cool. With both bands having female leads that garner a great deal of attention, Paramore has also realized they can learn a lot from a band whose past experiences closely mirror what they are going through today. It's been extremely similar, there's no question about that. Um, I think it's almost kind of weird how similar, like I, I feel like we're going to get on tour with them and they're going to share stories and we're going to be like, what? <laughs> like that's, that's, we're, that's what we're going through or that's what happened. Don't be for Haley, the struggle that Gwen faced as she was thrust into an even brighter spotlight than her bandmates is all too familiar. Totally. That video, I completely relate to. I mean, a lot of their stuff, as far as from Gwen's perspective, I really relate to. I almost feel like I should be careful like as to, to say how much I relate to it, because they're going to see it and be like, Haley's a weirdo. That's what you get when you let your heart win. But it may not be Haley that weirds no doubt out. I'm going to cut a mohawk for the tour and diet pink. The tour is underway in California and continues across the country throughout the summer. With Paramore's new album due out this fall, 2009 is sure to be a year they won't soon forget.